Tonight we begin with that massive manhunt in northern Pennsylvania for Michael Burham. Yeah, he is the suspect in a long list of crimes across several states, including homicide and kidnapping. The sun tonight setting on the fourth day of this urgent surge. Burham escaped from the Warren County Jail late Thursday night using exercise equipment and bed sheets. He was there to face kidnapping charges. Authorities say there are now 15 different agencies involved in this manhunt, but Burham has survival skills that could help him navigate the wooded terrain. Tonight, you'll hear from people who live in Warren County and their frustration and fear growing as the search continues. The county sheriff who says he is embarrassed about what happened. And from the 7 News archives, the similarities between this manhunt for Burham and the 2006 search for another Chautauqua County man. But first, late this afternoon, new details about the scope of this search <coughs> from Pennsylvania State Police. 7 News reporter Kristen Moran picks up the story there live tonight from Warren County. Kristen. Well, Jeff and Leah, we just did hear from Pennsylvania State Police just a few hours ago in Youngsville, just west of Warren County. They say that the pace and the scope of this investigation is dramatically intensifying. They say, too, that the tips from the public has been really helpful in their investigation as they continue to look in this area in Pennsylvania and in neighboring states. And now they are, they are saying, too, that there are dozens of federal, state, and local agencies helping out. Now, right now, Pennsylvania State Police believe Burham is still in this general area. They believe he is getting some kind of assistance, but would not specify where or how. But despite this, police say they are feeling confident they will find him. I've talked about the resources that are committed. Uh, we continue to ramp that up. We continue to make sure that we're putting pressure on him. And uh, uh, we won't know until we capture him just how close we really are. But I am convinced that uh, the approach that we are taking will be successful. There is no doubt in my mind we will capture him at some point. Uh, I can't obviously make a promise when that will be. Now, the lieutenant colonel there says that they have found a stockpile in a big wooded area, though they wouldn't say where or where they found that. Burham has been on the run since late Thursday night. He was able to escape from Warren County Jail by climbing on top of exercise equipment, going through a metal roof and then being uh, then tying bed sheets together and lowering himself down to get out of the jail. Um, he was last seen wearing a jumpsuit and a jean jacket, but now police believe he may no longer be wearing that. But, but because of Burham's past history, being known as a survivalist, having uh, military experience, police do believe that he is armed and he is dangerous. Now, with Burham at large tonight, neighbors tell ABC News that they're worried for their safety, especially in this small, tight-knit community. You know, both of us said, how could they let that happen? You know, wasn't he in security? But it was brought to my mind uh, that this was, you know, n not top security here. They usually are, have housing of uh, people who are on DUIs and uh, things of that sort. So I was, I was very disappointed, uh, you know, to think that he did get out. I mean, because we, I know the history of his first episode. And I did become concerned just for everybody uh, who he might touch. Now, you heard Mary there describing her disappointment at this situation. We were able to catch up with the Warren County Sheriff earlier this morning about this manhunt. He used the word embarrassed. The people of this county, they believe in me. They do. They voted for me. They put me here. Um, I'm embarrassed because it is my responsibility to keep them safer. Is the world a safer place today with this man out there? No, it is not. I can't dispute that, okay? So, yes, I'm embarrassed about that. I feel like I let my people down. The sheriff says he knows this is an adjustment for his community. Many people, he says, haven't locked their doors or cars in years. But he's asking people to remain vigilant so that Burham does not have easy access to your home or firearms. The sheriff also tells us there's three main investigations going on right now. Obviously, Pennsylvania State Police is handling this manhunt. And then the city of Warren Police, as well as the Warren County Jail Board, are looking into this investigation as to how Burham was able to escape from jail. But again, if you see him, if you see anything suspicious, you are asked to call police. For now, we're live in Youngsville, Pennsylvania tonight. Christy Moran, 7 News.